for tuning in today I got a little treat for you um, today we're going to be looking at Mirage and specifically how the target will move um, or appear to move it's not actually moving uh, the target appears to be moving as a result of the Mirage and the refraction that happens um, that's caused by the humidity in the atmosphere in the air between you and the target and as the wind blows it changes kind of well, the shape of the magnifying glass, and so to speak, and it actually r appears to reposition a target as the wind changes direction. So what I'm going to be showing you today is uh, some video that I shot to demonstrate that. One of the first things you're going to notice, the very first section, I start with the, uh, with, uh, the zoom kind of zoomed out, and I'm showing you both the target and the trees around, because I want you to see it's a dead calm day. There is barely a puff of wind out there. Hardly anything is moving when you're uh, if you're standing around. It was just bluebird skies, just the best possible weather. And uh, you know, to the uneducated eye, you go, I could shoot bug hole groups today. And uh, when you take a look at the the mirage and the displacement displacement that's happening, you realize what a guessing game it is to try to anticipate where the target actually is. As, as the mirage is doing what it does and displacing. So um, what I've got is a camera set behind a rifle scope. The rifle scope is mounted on a tripod that's spiked into the ground, so nothing is moving. The tripod can't move. The, um, the target is mounted on angle irons that are pounded into the ground. The target is not moving. So all you've got left is the displacement that's happening as a result of refraction. And by the way, there was zero parallax in the scope. I did confirm that by moving the, I move my eye around in the scope and adjust the parallax until the target is, re, the reticle is remaining static on the, the target that we're aiming it at. So um, there is no possibility that anything is moving. There's no parallax. It's everything that you're seeing is the result of refraction from the humidity in the air. So the first segment of the video, again, I've got the, uh, the camera kind of wide. So you can see the trees off to the right, and I'm showing you the um, the displacement. And depending on what how big your monitor is, what you're looking at, it might be a little hard to see how much the target is moving. And then I then after about a minute or so, the video goes into a, a tighter view, showing a, a, a very close view on the the um, the reticle and the target, and you'll be able to see. But at first, I'm really kind of just showing you just what a beautiful day it was. It was just dead calm if you want to have a picnic that was a day to do it and then uh, and then you can see exactly what's going on in terms of mirage um, I'm not going to get into what you can do to compensate for that in this video but I just want you to see that it actually happens how much it happens and um, and just to get your wheels turning on what you might be able to do about it so uh, take a look and uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll see what happens so watch this So here we are. We got the uh, the target over in the bottom uh, off to the left, and we've got the tree over to the right. We got a kind of a maple tree or something. And you can see the leaves are just not even moving at all. It's just dead calm, and you can barely see, but the target is moving around um, in the crosshairs. Um, and then after about a minute, uh, we'll go to uh, a tight view um, on the target, and you'll see a lot more clearly. And what I'm going to zoom in on is the exact same segment of time that you're watching right now. So it's not like some wind kicked up or anything weird. So just keep watching and you'll see when, uh, when we go to the tighter view, um, you'll see it's the same segment of video just zoomed in more. So here we are now, it's the exact same segment of video that you watch just uh, over the last minute or so, and uh, this is just zoomed in more so uh, to help you really be able to see how much that target is just moving in an instant. It's just dancing around, dancing around, and, and it just never stays still for, uh, for even, uh, even, even 10 seconds. It just moves and moves and moves constantly. 
trick to, to precision shooting in these conditions is having some idea where you would aim to compensate for that amount of displacement. The target's 177 yards away. So there it is, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, you can see how much the target is actually moving out there. Uh, it's hard to shoot a one inch group in these conditions, you know. Uh, that was just, that target was at 177 yards, so it's really not that far. You can see what, uh, what uh, rifle shooters have to deal with, uh, the conditions and, you know, beautiful day like that and the target's moving all over the place where it appears to be. Um, so 100 yard bench rest shooters have to deal with it, 1000 yard bench rest shooters have to deal with it. Um, just to a greater scale and uh, there's times when right now it's actually moving kind of slow you know but I've seen times where the target seems to be buzzing back and forth you, Jesus you really gotta take a take a wild leap of faith when you pull the trigger you know what are you gonna hit when you you know do you aim at the one on the bottom or do you aim at the one on the top or wherever it's moving to so um, it's a little bit tricky so anyhow I just want to give you a little bit of uh, something to think about on this one at this this point we'll talk more about what you can do to compensate for that later but uh, anyhow I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you subscribe okay thanks a lot